What's going on, boxer fans? Julian Williams here with the distance. I've got a prediction for you guys. This one is Nagy Aguilar versus Cristobal Ariola. Heavyweight matchup. I'm not going to get too much into detail with this matchup because this is just a matchup to build up the career of Chris Ariola after you know a bad streak in 2010. You know, with his, with his majority decision loss to Tomas Adamek and you know his very mediocre performance against Manuel Quezada. Um, but, you know, he did come back, um, and I have probably my luckiest prediction of the year with his um, last fight back in January. The only thing I didn't predict was the kiss at the end. So, May 14th, Cristobal Areola versus Nike Aguilar. Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to get too much into detail with this matchup. I think that Chris, Chris Areola in this matchup is going to fight his typical matchup. He's going to come in, he's going to come forward, he's going to throw a lot of punches, he's going to try to take Nagy Aguilera out. And that's pretty much what he does. Nagy Aguilera is the type of fire. He can be aggressive, but he does throw decent, throw decent counter shots. Um, throws, throws decent counter shots, but he does have trouble against fires that take the lead. He has trouble against fires that take the lead, and he has trouble against fires that, <laughs> that box, that can... Um, that can box quite well and move quite well. Chris Ariola is not the type of fighter that moves around. Um, who knows what Ronnie Shields is teaching him. I don't think Ronnie Shields is teaching him anything that he doesn't know. I think he's just giving him a little more discipline. He does look quite smaller, but then again, there was some idiot on um, Eastside Boxing last year before his fight against Quezada and said Ariola is going to come in at 235. Fucked hard. But I just think that in this matchup, the fighter that takes the lead is going to be Ariola. The fighter that's going to be looking for the counter is going to be Nike Aguilera. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, Aguilera might come in a little more aggressive. But I think Chris Ariola is going to come in and he's going to take out Nike Aguilera. Um, I think he's going to knock him out in less than six rounds. And that's only because, you know, look at the Sam Peter fight. Sam Peter was able to come forward. And Sam, Sam Peter is much slower than Chris Ariola. He doesn't fight at a fast pace like a Chris Ariola. So I don't think that Nike Aguilera can handle that fast pace that Chris Ariola is going to be fighting at. And, you know, Chris, like I said, Chris Ariola continues to come forward and fatter and skinny, whatever the hell he is, he's going to come in and, he's, and, he, and he fights, you know, each and every round at that same pace after like rounds one or two. And he gets stronger as fights progress. So I'm going to go with Chris Ariola, knockout, probably round six. So anyway, guys, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.